Local veterans are returning tonight after taking part in the honor flight, the first in more than two years. They're scheduled to land. We thought any time now seems like there may be a delay. Our very own Mike Morgan is on board. We go live to Bailey Hurley now, who is waiting for those vets to return. Bailey. Yeah. Yes, Stacey, we got about 45 more minutes until the veterans finally safely land here in Fargo. But I got to tell you, it is very lively and it's very patriotic here at Hector International Airport right now as the airport is starting to really fill with people. We've got American flags. We have American flag T-shirts. I did uh, talk to a few people here when I first walked in and there's uh, former uh, uh, honor flight people here who are sharing stories, swapping stories with other former honor flight uh, attendees. They can't wait to hear the stories that these honor flight attendees uh, tell and they, they can't wait to see the smiles on their faces as they get off the plane and uh, see the band downstairs. They're already warming up uh, when the Saints come marching in. They uh, already have played that a few times. So again, very lively, very patriotic. These uh, veterans have seen a lot this weekend as Mike Morgan has brought stories to us all weekend. Uh, of, they've seen Fort McHenry, they've seen the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, so there is a lot that these veterans are going to get to share with their loved ones as soon as they touch down again, maybe 45 more minutes. So I will check back in with you at 6.30. Maybe we'll uh, hear from some more people that are here waiting for their loved ones for now. I'm live at Hector International Airport. Bailey Hurley, Family News Live. All right, Bailey, thanks so much. Just such a special night there.